chapter those who are eligible to receive zakat. Zakat is given only to eight types of people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned when he said in the meaning of which as-sadaqat, the zakat, are only for the fuqara, the poor, the masakin, the needy, those employed for it to attract the hearts of those who are inclined to accept Islam, for slaves, for those in debt, for Allah's cause, and for the wayfarers. An obligation imposed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah is Al-Alim, All-Knowing, and Al-Hakim, All-Wise. Furthermore, it is permissible to restrict payment to just one of these due to what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Mu'ad radiallahu anhu in the meaning of which, so if they obey you in that, then inform them that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has obligated charity upon them to be taken from the rich and given to their poor. It is not permissible to give zakat to the following. 1. A rich person. 2. Someone who is strong and able to earn. 3. Any member of the family of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who are Banu Hashim and their slaves. 4. Those upon whom it is obligatory for one to spend at the time that it is due. 5. A disbeliever. As for voluntary charity, however, it is permissible to give to any of these as well as the others. However, whenever giving it will produce more benefit, whether general or specific benefit, then it is better. The Prophet ﷺ said in the meaning of which, whoever asks people for their money to increase his own wealth, then he is asking only for a piece of hot coal. So he must seek to be independent or must ask for more. Narrated by Imam Muslim. The Prophet ﷺ said to Umar radiallahu anhu in the meaning of which whatever comes to you from this wealth while you are neither in charge of nor begging for it, then take it. As for the rest, do not earn for it. Narrated by Imam Muslim.